Thank you. So if we're late, I should uh, hurry up. Um, I will shorten my talk to half an hour. Uh, <laughs> So um, today I'm happy to talk to you about the uh, offline impact of ultrasound stimulation on brain circuits. So we are conducting um, a fundamental research, we're not a clinical researcher, and we're using ultrasound as a tool to test for the causal role between brain structure and functions. And by function, I'm, I'm, we are mostly interested in a decision-making process. But before using uh, the tool as, as we, we aimed to, uh, to use it, uh, we first uh, decided to investigate how uh, transcranial ultrasound stimulation impact on brain circuits. Um, so the stimulation protocol, that our experimental protocol is very simple. So we bring the animals to um, our uh, ultrasound lab and we, using a, a neural navigator, we position our single element on uh, uh, just above the, uh, the target area. And then we apply maybe a kind of like slightly odd uh, stimulation protocol, which is we stimulate it for 30 milliseconds every 100 milliseconds, and we're doing so for uh, 40 seconds. And we used um, a 250 kilohertz uh, transducer. After the uh, animal has been, had been stimulated, has been simulated, we, we, took, we, um, we take him to the, uh, to the scanner. It's a 3T clinical scanner. And then we start collecting uh, runs of uh, resting state fMRI. If the animal is anesthetized, then the anesthesia is maintained using um, isofluorine and usually with uh, less than 1% isofluorine. All right. So here's an example of a uh, region we stimulated, which is the perigenual uh, cingulate uh, cortex. This is a region uh, we are um, very fond of because we found that it was, um, it was implicated in uh, supporting some social cognitive processes and more recently in uh, awake fMRI uh, study done by uh, Elsa Ferrania. Um, we um, observe that region being uh, involved in value-based decision-making. So on the right panel, you can see that the, uh, the t um, the, our, uh, our target, or the perigenial ACC, as you can see, we have only, um, on, the, on the coronal section, we have only one target, so we position the uh, stimulator just above the, the midline, and uh, because of the, of, the, of the kind of like special uh, resolutions, then we could uh, basically um, uh, stimulate uh, the uh, two um, ACC, like the left and the right ACC. And then on the small uh, insert, that's the uh, uh, acoustic um, intensity that has been modeled by our collaborator, Charlotte Constant and, and Jean-Francois Aubry. And just below that's the, um, it's some indication about the intensity of, the, um, uh, of our ultrasound stimulation. So, here are the results. For instance, that's uh, what we conducted is a seed-based correlation analysis on this uh, resting state uh, data we collected. So res um, seed-based correlation analysis works as follow. You extract the time course of the bold signal in a small region of uh, interest. Uh, the small region of interest here is circled in red on the medial view of the, of the monkey brain. And then you looked for correlation um, between these regions and other regions in the brains. And what is represented on this heat map, what you have, like the, 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 more, the hotter the, the color on this heat map, the more coupled uh, are uh, this region with this uh, ACC region. So for instance, on the left, on the lateral view, what is circled is the lateral prefrontal cortex, or is the, uh, on, the, on the middle view, the other circled region is the uh, mid cingulate cortex. But after stimulation of the ACC, what we observed is the decoupling of some of these regions. So in the, on the, on you can see the lateral prefrontal cortex is less coupled with the ACC, but also the mid cingulate cortex is less coupled with the ACC. And so this, this data were collected over the course of two hours. So we have an effect that spans for two hours. So that's how long this uh, 40 second stimulation protocol lasts, at least because we didn't go further. And importantly, those effects were not driven by damage to the, uh, to the tissue. So on this uh, study, we stimulated another region of the medial frontal cortex, uh, uh, premotor regions. The animal was stimulated, scanned, and then sacrificed at the end of the experiment. And the, uh, as you can see, there is no uh, damage observed at the uh, post-mortem scans or in the histological uh, assessment done afterwards. And I'm hurrying up to present the last result because finally we were able to uh, stimulate an awake animal and ask him to perform a, a, t a task because we wanted to test the, the, this implication of the ACC in some uh, value-based decisions. So the task is a very simple task. The animal is facing two options um, taken out of a set of three options. 
And those options are, as, are more or less likely to be associated with reward. And on the small, pan, on the sm small figure uh, on the bottom panel, that's the, the different probabilities associated with the different options. And what you can see in the sham ACC, the animal is tracking perfectly, is, is really good at tracking the value of the different options. So the red line indicates to you that is uh, very likely to pick the best option at the beginning of the sessions. Then at some point there is a shift between the best and the worst option and the animal is switching its preference. But after the uh, stimulation of the ACC, the animal is getting confused about what is the best and what, are, what is the, the second best option. It's making mistakes. All right, uh, and that's all. And thank you to my collaborators, and thanks for your attention. Thank you. That was challenging presenting three articles within five minutes. <laughs> uh, oh, have if you're interested, question? all the articles are available on BioArchive. And if you're in the room, please accept the paper. Yes, we have one question. Yeah, so uh, thanks. Um, you said that uh, the monkey's uh, performance uh, degraded. Um, was it a dramatic effect? Was it a what, sorry? Was it a dramatic degradation in the performance? Uh, no, 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 it's kind of like he's, he's uh, continuing doing the task, and, but it's, it's kind of like he was with a single lesion, he was unable to select, to discriminate between the best and the second best options. So he was a bit confused. So it's, in a sense, it's dramatic, but the animal is not impaired is still doing the task. And if you st we simulated also the lateral orbital frontal cortex, so here, and then the animal was really good at doing the task, and it's only when we changed the contingency that it got lost for 50 trials, and then he, he recovered. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you. All right, thank you very much.